You thinking about making that move to Roswell, Georgia? Well, this is a fantastic community just north of Atlanta, but it's not a secret. People know about this community and absolutely love it. So if you're looking for that deal, make it a smaller budget, this might not be the area for you. But if you are wanting a fantastic schools, you're looking at great homes with a fantastic downtown area like I'm in right now. If you want to live that outdoor life with plenty of walking trails and biking right off the Chattahoochee River, then this could be that place for you. Today, we are going to go around and explore Roswell, Georgia, look at different price points in this area to see if they fit into your budget and what you can afford here, and also take you a tour around this downtown area. So if you stick with me at the end, we're also gonna look at what's happening in the market here and give you a breakdown of that. And we're doing it right now. Let's do it. If this is your first time on this channel and you're looking to know everything there is about Atlanta and the surrounding area like Roswell, Georgia, where we're in right now, then hit that subscription button, tap that notification bell so you can be the first to know about the market here in Atlanta, Georgia. So whether you're looking to make that move right now, a month from now, a year from now, it's never too early to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I got people just like you contacting me daily about moving here to Atlanta, Georgia. I absolutely love it. So I'd love to help you make that smooth move here to Atlanta. So we're here in Roswell, Georgia, and as you can see, this is a fantastic historic downtown area. I've uh, done lots here and there's a lot coming too. They're gonna be doing a ton of stuff because one of the things that you'll note right down here if you come around Roswell is the streets are pretty small. Again, this is a historic area. Everything's kind of narrow, so they're really working on doing some work on the roadways, widening the roadways, making more paths for walking. Um, there's some areas around here that get really congested, uh, so they're trying to uh, fix that. But this historic downtown area, so fantastic for shopping and dining, especially the dining part. So we got Rock and Taco behind me, fun little sports bar. I uh, found your Tex-Mex there. We got Mac McGee um, right over there, uh, Irish pub. Can't go wrong there, love me some, some pub food. I'm all about that. Um, and then we got burger and a tequila bar over there. You got your Greek cooking right over there. Uh, so there's a ton of stuff here. One of the fun things too is as you get outside of these buildings here um, in this downtown area, you'll see some uh, places that used to be homes that now they've turned it into uh, some places to eat uh, and dine, some businesses. Um, so if you're looking to have a really fun night on, out on the town, uh, fun places to catch some lunches at, there's really good food around here. Um, I see 1920 and Rue right over there. You got a few uh, Cajun places here, uh, really good food. Uh, my wife and I uh, ate at uh, Rue about a month or so ago. Uh, so really uh, good food. Uh, behind me, maybe you can see it through the trees back there, you've got uh, the town hall. And then over in this area too, you got the Roswell Cultural Arts Center uh, where you can see plays and some acts um, like that. I uh, actually saw my brother-in-law do a play not too long ago. He's a really talented actor, so that was uh, really fun as well. Um, come here on a Friday, Saturday night. I mean, this place is jam-packed. It's kind of fun. It kind of gives you that uh, feel of kind of a Savannah feel, kind of a New Orleans feel, a little bit, a lot smaller, of course. Um, but it's just awesome. You can, you can see a lot of uh, places to eat out on the street. We've got great weather here in Georgia for most of the time. Uh, so even in February, it's going to be 60 today. So what a great place to just enjoy this beautiful weather, hang out um, here in the downtown area. Now, one of the reasons that this isn't a secret, it's so pricey here in Roswell, is not only they have great schools, easy access to 400 to get to downtown area, um, but there's a feel here uh, as you get outside of it, you're still kind of in the mountain area. Uh, there's some great parks to walk in. There's the river walk uh, right next to the Chattahoochee River, seven miles of trails to walk on, jog on, bike on. It's fantastic. Then you've got an old mill that's here that runs 
um, right along a creek that uh, has a lot of trails to hike on there. Again, you feel like you're in the middle of the mountains. So that outdoor living, it makes it really attractive to be here, especially since we have such great weather here in Georgia. People want to be out and about. So when you combine that with, again, good schools, with a fun downtown area, easy uh, access to 400, which takes you into Atlanta, then that's going to shoot those prices up. And that's kind of what you have here in Roswell, Georgia. So if you want to see what can fit into your budget, looking to make that move to Roswell, then stick around. Like I said, we're going to hit a number of different homes in different price ranges and stick around to the end. And we'll go back to my office, take a look at the Roswell market, see what's happening around here and see if it makes sense for you to move to Roswell, Georgia. All right, so we're at our first house here in Roswell, Georgia. We are just less than a mile from downtown Roswell, Georgia, which, you know, in real estate, it's all about location. And that's the case with this home here. So the home that we're going to be seeing is listed at $595,000. It has 1,500 square feet. So pretty small square footage uh, for this home. And this is kind of typical of a lot of homes that are around here in Roswell, Georgia. It's a 60s build, um, as you can kind of see right here. A lot of ranches with the 60s build. That's the home right there that's um, for sale at $595. Uh, done some renovations to it. I refinished the floors, did some stuff on the outside, painted the white brick, um, did updates in the kitchen, didn't update any of the bathrooms, none of the windows. Uh, looks like a newer roof on it. Um, one thing about the homes that are around here in the 60s builds is you get a little bit bigger lots. This is almost on half an acre lot. So that comes in. Really handy and nice if you want a little bit more space in terms of your yard. I think this one's a little high uh, based on uh, just condition of the home, really about size of it. Um, but to give you an idea in comparison, uh, what happens sometimes around here in these homes is you get a little bit of land or a few lots or they'll knock down some homes and put up newer ones. So these are 2017 builds behind me. Uh, to compare, these are at 1.2 million, 1.3 million in here. Um, so just to give a heads up in the difference. So you have these brand new construction right across from this home here, 595 here, 1.2 million range around here. Um, just around like everywhere in Roswell, you'll see a lot of mature trees. Uh, so again, this is about location. Nice to have the little bit of sidewalk here. People really like to get out and about, walk their dogs, jog, ride bikes here in Roswell, Georgia. I mean, you can kind of hear the birds behind me today. It's a little bit warmer winter day today. It's going to get even warmer. So birds decided to come out today, um, fly around, do their thing. Uh, but anyway, so again, this is typical of the Roswell neighborhood. You'll see right around the downtown Roswell area. It's the 60s, 70s builds, a lot of these ranch homes in here. And then again, some knockdowns or some buying little pieces of property here and there with new construction or new work construction that will price them in just kind of depends on the size of the home you can get them from the 800s to the 1 million range so for this first home again i think it's a little high in price uh 1500 square feet uh, but we are going to jump to the next home home number two a little bit further away from where we're at right now so let's get on over there all right so we're at house number two in today's tour of Roswell, Georgia. And we're at one of two really large communities here in Roswell. Uh, and this one is the Martin's Landing community. Uh, this community is made up of a lot of smaller subdivisions, um, but all feed into Martin's Landing that uh, with the HOA that covers uh, swimming and tennis. Um, they have a ton of biking trails and walking trails, uh, dog park um, and the like. So uh, if you're Coming in here, this community is all about that outdoor living life. Um, it's February, so we're in the middle of winter right now, so a little less people outside. Uh, but today's supposed to get up to 66, so even in Georgia in that middle of winter, you can still have uh, a lot of time outdoors. So home we're looking at today is right here. This one's the one that's up for sale. Uh, it is listed at 530,000. It's got five bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, um, and uh, has a number of updates in it. I kind of, this is kind of typical of homes uh, here in Georgia. Don't know where you're coming from, but uh, what happens a lot in Georgia is they do a lot of the updating in the kitchen and the master bath, flooring and paint, but they don't update stuff like windows or 
you know, some of the simple stuff like uh, light fixtures or um, even the switches and those kind of panels. So it's interesting. Uh, on the outside, this is a 70s build. This is a 70s community in here. You can kind of see it by the, the outside of it. They actually have uh, aluminum siding still on this home. They don't use that anymore, but uh, has an aluminum siding home. Um, so uh, and if I haven't said it yet, that's uh, just over or just under 2,600 square feet. And it has uh, a mostly finished basement, does have some unfinished space there. Um, as you can see, there's a ton of mature trees around here as this being an older subdivision. A lot of 70s builds in Roswell. Uh, so this is kind of typical of these homes. Um, some have been renovated and updated, some not. You can see right here with this one, a big dumpster right there. Might be doing some renovations, see some paint over here that that gray brick was not what it uh, was originally was uh, in this community so they are doing some updates in here uh, $530,000 range for that home seems to be maybe a little high um, one thing I noted about uh, that home was it also had a, um, a down sloping driveway so you got to kind of be careful here in Georgia with downsloping driveways where, where water flows, especially in the older homes, they didn't think as much about pushing the water away from homes. Uh, so with that one having a basement on it, you can have some water issues in it. I actually saw that they did um, some uh, work downstairs for water remediation to get and keep water uh, out of the basement. So that's good um, when you see that on homes, but definitely something to think about because water and trees will wreak havoc on a home and you have plenty of water of trees around this community. But again, uh, this Martin Landing community, Martin's Landing community, uh, it's really well known for people that want to get out, hike, jog, walk, um, just be outside and really enjoy what the community has to offer. So if you're looking in that $500,000 range, this might be a community for you, again, if you like that outdoor living. So on to the next home. We're at house number three here in Roswell, Georgia. Uh, this neighborhood uh, is in a large community of uh, smaller neighborhoods uh, known as Horseshoe Bend here in Roswell, Georgia. Uh, this particular homes were built in the 90s. Uh, you can tell kind of by the, the red brick. We do have a stucco home uh, right over there, but a lot of these are uh, four side brick, which is really nice. Uh, this community has kind of the, the wood uh, shingle roofs, which is very unique. Uh, this home right here is the one uh, that's for sale right behind me. It is a uh, three bedroom, three and a half bath, just uh, under 2,900 square feet. Um, and list price is $825,000. So uh, a little bit smaller uh, home in terms of the price. That's pretty high for that amount of square footage. Um, but uh, if you're buying into this community, um, this actually has two HOAs. One for the bigger community where you get access uh, to pool, to tennis courts, uh, to two lakes. Um, and then you have a smaller HOA fee for this particular community to keep up with the yards, the landscaping. And there's actually some water features in the middle of this actually behind that home. Uh, it's kind of interesting. There's these different waterfalls um, and pond areas. So not much of a backyard on that one, but uh, they do have that. So, um, if you're moving in here, you're really looking at a lifestyle where you've got a golf course that's in here. So those that like to play golf, um, you'll be set, ready to go. You're looking at, uh, you know, not much maintenance in yards. They're smaller. And again, the HOA fees are, are taking care of it in here. Um, but you're looking for a higher end community. This definitely can be the one for you. And I kind of, you know, really like the feel of this too. It's really quiet. Um, not much traffic coming back here unless you live here or someone's working on the houses. Uh, this particular home that we're um, looking at this for sale uh, is uh, updated in the kitchen um, and the uh, primary uh, bathrooms um, have updates as well. Uh, hardwood floors running through it. Um, so nice house again. Those that are looking for that lower maintenance uh, home that's um, elegant, well-built. Uh, this could be one of those options for you looking in that 800,000 range. Uh, let's just uh, move on to the next home. Well, the last home on our tour, as maybe you can see, is 
not built yet. We got new construction behind me, Barrington Place. They got eight lots of the building right here. Homes are gonna be 3,500 square feet and above, four bedrooms, four and a half baths. You got a few slab lots. You got a few uh, lots that are gonna be on basements back here. They're gonna be gorgeous homes. They're gonna be kind of a European style, traditional style mix. Um, I'll jump on the website here in just a second, kind of give you a little tour of what the homes are gonna look like. Uh, but they're gonna be starting at $1.4 million. Now, good news is you're in walking distance of downtown Roswell. You can get to the Chattahoochee River just over there. Uh, there's some hiking trails, so you're gonna absolutely love living here. A uh, drawback is, is right behind me is Marietta Highway, um, which is a little bit busy. So there's a busier road um, right there that you can see right next to the homes. Uh, the other thing is not a big subdivision, so there's not gonna be really any amenities or anything like that, smaller lots. So you gotta take that in consideration. Is it okay for you to have a smaller lot to have these gorgeous homes that are being built here in this new construction here and being that close to downtown Roswell. But again, when it comes to brand new builds in the downtown Roswell area, they're gonna be big. They're gonna be in that $1 million price range. So again, let's, uh, we'll go take a look at that website uh, right now, kind of give you an idea of what the layout's gonna look like. All right, so now we can look at Barrington Place. I'm back in my office at my computer, pull up the website for it. These are Brightwater Homes. Come down here and first we're gonna just look at the neighborhood map as we see here again eight lots um, all of these million dollar homes uh, i believe these three lots right in here lots one two and three are going to be your basement homes these are going to be your slab homes on the other side of this you see the gallery here some beautiful pictures here you got an area information map here seeing what's close by and then here are what the homes are going to look like um, so you got your home sites here and uh, you just get a look at this. That's a basement home here, I believe that one right there is a basement home and then home site two. These are the three basement homes and these other homes are the slab homes. You see prices there starting at 1.4 and going up to 1.525. Uh, jump in on a few here. So let's just take this one, the 1.4 million home. If I click on that, get a little bit of a look of the home here. So you got your home front, it's a beautiful looking home. And then that's the basement. We'll start in the family room. So interesting thing here is you got that front porch with the fireplace. So I don't know how often you're going to sit on the front porch of the fireplace. A lot of those are usually on the back, but um, you know, maybe that's for you. Maybe that's what you like. But interest there, huge family room. And then you've got your kitchen and dining area combined here. Really open, really nice. Here's your stairs going up and down. You do have a bedroom on the main. It's not the master, but it's this guest bedroom. Large 18 by 11 bedroom, so plenty of space there with its full guest bath. Um, it's nice to have a guest room on different areas that are at different levels, I should say. And then upstairs, here is your primary owner's suite. There's your owner's bath, large closet there. Um, little loft area here. I really don't know how much you're going to be able to use that since it's right at the top of the stairs. It's mainly just a big walkway, laundry upstairs, and then two bedrooms there. And then going down your uh, basement or terrace level here, a big mechanical room unfinished. You got a future bedroom and bath area if you want it. You got some bonus rooms, a hallway. So more area downstairs as well. So really beautiful, elegant, nice home. Come back out and let's go look at this one. This is a, it's a fascinating architectural design. Can't tell if I love it or not, but um, this one's pretty sweet looking home. This one's uh, over 3,800 square feet. Again, you can see the pictures and designs here. Let's just go to the first floor here, large porch. Dining area right at the front with doors that open up to the front porch too. Again, it's enjoying these days um, here that we have enjoyed these beautiful days. It's nice to have that open air coming through. So open up your doors there. Uh, Again, large kitchen feeds into your family room. You've got a breakfast area here too. Uh, you got an office space that they put on the back side here on the main floor if you're wanting it. And then this is actually a master on the main. So the owner's bedroom's here. You got a 13 by 17 foot bedroom, large bathroom, and there's your closet. Also have a wire washer and dryer, it looks like option here 
on the main for your master bedroom, your uh, primary bedroom there, and then laundry room also upstairs. Even though this is a small loft, I kind of like this better. It's off to the side, so you can put a little TV or maybe play area here for the kids in their bedrooms upstairs. So there's your look at Barrington Place uh, on their website. So that's an idea of what these homes at Barrington Place is gonna look like. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to my office to take a look at the Roswell market stats, uh, see what's happening uh, in this market here, specifically in Roswell. And we're gonna do that uh, right now. So let's go jump over to my office. All right, so we're back in my office looking at the Roswell real estate stats and the market stats for Roswell, Georgia. So just to give you a heads up, it's pretty hot market still here in Atlanta and the Roswell market is no exception to that. Uh, we're taking a look at the Roswell market. We're looking at 92 active homes right now in Roswell that are up for sale. Uh, in the last 30 days, we've had 59 homes hit the market, but to give you an idea how quickly they go, 33 of those homes over the last 30 days are already under contract. Of all the homes that are under contract in Roswell, we're looking at a price range from $2.3 million homes down to $295,000 home under contract. So there's a large range of prices in Roswell, but the median sales price in Roswell is $598,500. So almost to that $600,000 range is the median sales price. Again, as we looked at, you can go under that $600,000 range. It just depends on what area of Roswell you're looking at, uh, the build of the home, square footage, and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, here in Georgia, if you're not familiar, we really don't do too much uh, comparison in terms of price range when it comes to price per square foot. Um, you can find those stats and that's great, but price per square foot really comes more into play in a townhome or condo uh, community not really in single family detached homes. It's much more uh, important here to look at the updates that are done to the home, look at the construction of the home, areas super important, and the sales prices of the neighborhoods uh, that you're looking at. Um, average days on market here for homes that are closing is 32 days. So homes that are priced right, that are really nice, they're going in 32 days, which is still really quick compared to kind of a more normal market. So we're still pretty active here in the Roswell area. In terms of price reductions, we're seeing about 37% of homes having price reductions. This is much more than it has been over the past couple years, uh, but still it's not a ton. So uh, sellers are still keeping their prices pretty consistent, pretty high. We are seeing more multiple offers on homes and that's starting to build back up it's all going to be about that interest rate to see whether that continues uh, or not. If you're looking to purchase a home uh, here or making that move to the Atlanta area or the metro Atlanta area like Roswell, and you're interested in Roswell or any other areas like that, we want to make sure that you have a pre-approval ready or if you're coming with all cash, that proof of funds uh, ready to show. We've got to move quickly on these homes as again, the ones that are priced right ready to sell, they're going fast. Uh, so if you're looking to make that smooth move here to Roswell, Georgia, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd absolutely love to help you make that transition to your next home or maybe your first home if you're that first time home buyer. If you wanna look a little bit more at Roswell, Georgia, at the end of this, I'm just gonna show some of the clips of driving around and out and about in Roswell. So stick around, take a look at that. Until then, I hope to see you around town.